Just cause you're black Folks think you lack They laugh at you and scorn you too All my life through I've been so black and blue How will it end? Ain't got a friend My only sin is in my skin What did I do To be so black and blue? <coughs> What, however, we do have to spend some time on is why and how this inhuman violence is perpetrated. You can do a number of things about it. You can fight back, or you can line up with flowers and use flower power against police power. But you can also attempt to find out where the money is. Where is the tie-up between industry, the military, racist ideologies, the economic policies, <coughs> and these massive bodies of corporate interests. We have to find these things out, but they're difficult to find out because we don't know whether the books are cooked or not. And the type of organization that the predominantly white imperialist society has managed to develop is this invisible web where everyone feels trapped in it. But not everyone. Some people are happy, perhaps, to be trapped. Can we find some way of disarticulating the circuit somewhere from within? We might be able to consider what are the weakest, what the strongest threads that maintain the tapestry in its tightly woven state. The most dangerous link in the chain is obedience. We have been trained so that we are prepared to do practically anything if told to do it by a sufficient authority. Those who profess to favor freedom yet deprecate agitation are men who want crops without plowing up the ground. They want rain without thunder and lightning. Power can see nothing without demands it never has and it never will. Find out what any people will quietly submit to and you will have found out the exact measure of injustice and wrong which will be opposed upon them. And these will continue until they are resisted with either words or blows or both. Of all our own anxieties and paranoia, uh, the use of language patterns to almost scare us out of our bodies, white or black, finally, the, the, the alternative then, I, I, I don't know, what shall we do as an alternative? Ultimately, the universe doesn't need our execrable yowling for the continuance of its own life, so, okay, but however, there is no purpose for us to go to get away if we can make a go of it, and as long as anybody's willing to make a go of it, this is to be or not to be, which is a, a deep <coughs> question as ever. You know, do, do we want to be or not? I don't know. Sometimes I don't want to. I don't give a shit. I'm going to die anyway, which everybody feels occasionally. But if we're willing to suffer here and continue our existence on the planet, what would be the conditions that might make it viable for us? Everybody, one last time. Here we go. In any country far or near, may we never look away.